Hello everybody, welcome back. This is HD and I'm back for another HD broadcast as always. Uh, I just got back from work and oh, a little bit of a mishap right there. I just got back from work and I'm here to cast some more games. Uh, it is going to be a Zerg versus Protoss here and we have IS Honor as a red Protoss here. I just noticed he has a pretty cool icon on the hull of his uh, Nexus. I don't exactly know where you get that. I, I'm pretty sure that's not one of the default ones, but it kind of looks like ET or something. Anyways, IS Honor is going to be the red Protoss here at the 3 o'clock position, and Root Destiny is going to be his opponent. I'm told this is a very, very epic game, and I, of course, um, having guys set, who, who see these awesome games send me in their, their, the replays, and uh, I had somebody send me this replay as well. Unfortunately, I don't have my email open. My email is like bugging out right now, so I, I don't know exactly what the name of the person who sent it in is. Uh, so I do apologize for that, but if you guys have any awesome replays, uh, and I'm, ex I'm accepting amateur replays as well as pro replays, um, send them in to me at hdreplays at gmail.com. Pro replays, of course, are preferred. However, I've decided that I want to start a new kind of cool series. Uh, at least I hope it'll be cool. It may be an absolute failure, an absolute flop. Um, uh, but I, I want to start doing some replays where uh, people send in their amateur replays and if they're really interesting and funny, I'll cast them. And by funny, I mean failed cheese attempts, uh, bad manners, uh, just funny things that happen. I, I, I don't care. Just send them in to me. If you think you've played an awesome game or you've played against someone who you thought was legitimately uh, a dumbass, <laughs> send me in that replay and I'll, I'll cast them for you guys. Uh, so yeah, just send me funny stuff. HDreplays at gmail.com. That link is down below. Does look like, oh, honor, you're gonna lose your probe. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that little first initial probe, he's like, I will do the scouting. And he just ends up dying, so sucks for him. But uh, Destiny gets a free little probe kill right there. And it does look like Destiny's gonna go immediately out to his hatch, to his natural, uh, to get his hatchery down. Note, he did get the pool first. And honestly, that's smart. I've been talking about this for a while now. Uh, the fact that Zerg players simply cannot go for hatchery first against Protoss anymore. Uh, reason being that as soon as a Protoss sees that, they'll immediately throw down their forge and build up a ton of cannons. It's a very difficult thing to deal with. Now, Oh, look at this. Honor has opened up with the two gate here. He has not been using Chrono Boost on the gateways, however. I don't think he has, at least. Uh, but, oh man, a couple circlings may be able to run inside before the Zealot comes out! Oh, the Zealot comes out at the last second, uh, but not in time to save the Zer uh, to, to prevent the wall off and keep the Zerglings at bay. So the Zerglings are allowed inside, and that's going to force IS Honor to pull four probes off the line and deal with this. Obviously, losing the pylon powering these two gateways would be absolutely cru crucial. Uh, he will lose a single probe for a for a uh, zergling but meanwhile he is doing some serious work on the other side of the map and destiny here ah uh, he may have to pull some more stuff he's producing 10 lings right now to deal with this situation um meanwhile Destiny also microing this Ling back at uh, Honor's base pretty well. Finally ends up losing it, but I don't blame him because he's got a really sticky situation and he's got to keep this hatchery alive. And if he loses this hatchery, this is going to be all but game. Destiny not even realizing that he was getting two gated this game. His spine crawler slowly crawling its way over to the natural and it's going to be able to plop its, its, uh, its butt down. Oh no, but Honor is going to go straight into the main and this spine crawler is going to have to reload locate itself back into the main if it wants to do anything at all and destiny may end up losing his main hatchery this is going to be so bad he doesn't even have speed coming because he has absolutely not a drop of gas and he's dealing against five zealots right now and five zealots i mean seriously if they're positioned properly they can just hold off wave after wave of lings note how honor is using the mineral line to uh, essentially force combat where the surface area to surround the lings is least and look at that beautiful positioning by honor he's going to be able to take off so many zerglings before his zealots finally die at the same time though destiny kudos to him for finally killing off these annoying zealots but I don't know. The economic damage seems to have been done. Um, Destiny almost losing his natural. He was able to save it. Um, and in fact, both players' economy is actually 
kind of on on par with each other. 23 S uh, 23 drones for Destiny and 22 probes for for Honor. So actually Honor, I guess he didn't do as much damage as I thought he did and now he's the one who's got to be defensive. Thankfully his Zealots will be able to hold the line. Hold the line! Oh no, one of the Zealots gets stuck! Oh, this guy is like... <laughs> he was like, uh, Leroy Jenkins ended up dying. Kinda sucked. But, uh... <laughs> it looks like Destiny will get a free Zealot kill and he'll be able to hopscotch his way back over to the middle of the map for now. Honor, meanwhile, I think he's in a pretty good position himself. I honestly feel like after that two's gate harass, I feel like both players have reached a state of equilibrium now where neither player is ahead and neither player is really behind. I feel like both players are, are at a state where they can play a macro game and things are definitely going to get interesting from here on out where, where things go. Now, uh, let's see, Overlord here ends up dying, oh that sucks for Destiny who was just trying to get in there to see if he could do any scouting whatsoever. Oh he may end up losing this Overlord as well, no he gets the uh, he gets the run up on that ledge over there so pretty smart right there for Destiny to position the Overlord on the outer perimeter and this is something that Zerg players should always be aware of, this little cliff so to say, plateau, where you can hide your Overlords and you get a really good scout of the back side of your opponent's base so your, your Protoss player is unable to hide buildings in the back there as long as you have an overlord over there. Now, oh man, what is this? Honor? Is he really pushing? Oh wow, he's transitioned into a four gate. He's got four warp gates right now and he's just doing an all out four gate at this moment. Uh, pulling out the proxy pylon as well and Honor is just keeping the aggression on Destiny. Destiny though has a spine crawler up. He's building up a second one. He's got ten lings on the way but the sentry could Force field the ramp! Oh uh, no, Honor opting not to use a force field, rather gonna use a guardian shield here that will help with his zealots reducing the damage that they take from the queens as well as the spine crawler. The spine crawler ends up going down. Last zealot standing here will go down to the surround as well. And Destiny doing a pretty good job getting a decent surround across Honor's forces. But Honor is warping in more zealots, and what a game we have in our hands. The Protoss sticking it to Destiny. Uh, usually it's Destiny who sticks it to the Protoss, but this is like a turn of events. I don't know who this guy Honor is. He's like a new and up, up and coming kid or something, but he is, he is doing some work right now to Destiny. Look at how, how scared Destiny uh, is, is right now. He's got to pull all his drones, all his lings, queens, building more spine crawlers. He is in a sticky situation. Um, but he has kept a lot of his drones alive, so he's done a pretty good job at that. Only losing, a, you know, two drones in that engagement. We have a big engagement, speaking of that, right now, right here. It looks like Honor may have enough zealots to break through. Oh, man. And he's warped in additional sentries as well. This is going to help him keep that ramp force, field, uh, that ramp force fielded. But without zealot support, these queens may be able to punch through the stalkers and, and sentries. Remember, stalkers and sentries are very fragile compared to the zealot, and they cannot take a beating from those spine crawlers, nor the prolonged attacking from the from the queens. The queens do relatively decent damage as well. And surprisingly, Honor is not warping in additional zealots, just sticking with the stalkers and sentries for now. <coughs> And as for Destiny, Destiny has no speed. Oh my god. He's just now started the speed upgrade. What a game right here. And Destiny is trying to get down this ramp, but unfortunately that force field, that artificial wall provided by the Pro Protoss Psionic Forces, Special Forces, able to keep that ramp force field and able to keep the reinforcements from coming. Looks like all the sentries have gone down for now. And once again, Destiny trying to get us around across the Zealots. And will he be able to hold? This is such an insane game. No doubt, Honor using Chrono Boost on his warp gates. Maybe I'm giving a little bit, giving him a little bit too much benefit right now. After all, both players are microing so hard right now to try to beat the other player. It's like a battle of the will to who can out micro his opponent. And it almost seems like Honor is going to take this game now. Destiny is going to lose his hatchery, and that has got to be game. Oh man, I thought for sure this game was going to be a little bit longer. Um, uh, because I had I had so many people say, you know, this game is awesome, this game's epic, but it looks like Honor is going to beat Destiny, and I mean, you know, to beat Destiny, that's a pretty epic achievement in a, in of itself. Destiny's a really really solid player in general. Um, looks like the proxy pawn will get picked off, <laughs> for now at least. 
and that is going to give Destiny just a little bit of breathing room um, because right now Honor can't really exactly push up this ramp simply because of the spine crawler defense uh, and Destiny trying to do a little bit of a counter attack as well with his links I, I applaud him for that but I don't know if he can really bust through here or do, to do anything at all and that force field is just keeping those zerglings in there the zealot gets like three kills and all the zerglings could go down oh man only two making their way out of there and now the question is what is destiny gonna do uh it has been one base to one base this entire time but look at the economy 19 drones for destiny compared to 29 probes for honor honor now grabbing his second nexus and the army supply really tells it all, guys. Uh, at the top right-hand corner, you guys can see that Honor is at 75 total supply, whereas Destiny is at half that amount at 32. Oh, man. This is just gonna be... Uh, I mean, I don't know. If Destiny is able to make a game out of this, obviously the game isn't over yet. If Destiny is able to make a game out of this and win this, this will truly be one of the most epic Zerg vs. Protosses that I've ever casted. But we'll see. I don't know. I think my dreams might be set a little bit too high at this moment to, uh, to say anything like that. Honor now going to be working down the southern rocks. Uh, you know, try to get a double expand going. I think that may be a little risky considering the fact that he that Destiny is on one base. Uh, soon to get his second, yes, but it is entirely possible that Destiny would go for some kind of an all-in build, maybe some kind of a Nidus now to try to win the game. So I feel like going for a possible expansion down south may be a little risky. <clears throat> I don't know if he's actually going to throw the Nexus or not. But one thing that Honor really wants to be careful about right now is making sure all the corners and crevices of his base are fully covered because a Nidus could just end his day right now. Uh, and that's what Zerg players will do when they're behind. Um, you ask me, I do it all the time. I've done it against uh, my good friend Dopa quite a few times. When I'm behind in the game, I'll bring out the Nidus. It doesn't, it doesn't look like though Destiny is going to do that. In fact, if anything, Destiny is going for the Infestation Pit. And it almost seems like we're going to see Destiny try to play out this game in a macro way. Which is actually kind of incredible considering the fact that uh, you know destiny is way behind and yes destiny's playstyle is typically the infester but uh, to try to catch up and to play this game out from 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 the standpoint that he's at right now from how far behind and, and how deep in a hole he is for him to try to play out this game in his in his normal way which is you know Ling infester that is the style that he uses um, that's amazing and, and if he manages to pull this off, you know, my hat's off to him. But we'll see. Uh, looks like Destiny here is going to come around the back. Speed finally get, coming in for those lings. So helpful. Uh, and he's going to be able to break down the destructible rocks to the south. And this is going to give him a little bit of access over to the bottom right-hand expansion. And, you know, if he can break down these rocks quickly enough... Nope. Honor, so smart. He sees the rocks getting broken down, immediately decides to warp in a cannon. And he's covering all bases right now. Uh, making sure that he's safe in every single which way. Um, once again, I feel like Honor may be taking a huge gamble because if Destiny was going all in right now with a Nidus, that could be, you know, curtains. Considering, you know, you know, you've got to defend now three bases. But thankfully for Honor, Destiny is not. Destiny is trying to catch up. And because of that, I feel like Honor is in a great position. He's He's got one extra Nexus over Destiny. And how many times do I, do I say, you know, as a Zerg player, you need to be ahead one base over the Protoss? Well, this is a situation where the Protoss is ahead one base over the Zerg. So really, this is, this is not looking good at all for Destiny. But uh, one thing that he does have going for him is his, his Infestors. And honestly, Destiny's Infestor control and his Infestor usage... Uh, they make any Zerg cry, and any Protoss cry, any Zerg, they want to be Destiny, they want to be just like him. Because, because Destiny is somehow always able to make a win happen, despite the odds, and it's all thanks to his Infestors. So, I don't know, we'll see if he's able to, to eke out something in this game. Does look like the Lings may be making a, another tour down here to the south, but with a Stalker and a Cannon there, I'm not entirely sure if Destiny wants to commit to breaking down these rocks. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Turn around, find another route or something. Uh, a changeling here, little incognito unit, may be able to make its way into the Protoss forces, depending if Honor is paying attention right now. And the Zealot comes in, and... Oh, he's selecting his army? Yes. 
Really good control right there, realizing, hey, that's a fake zealot. So he ends up taking it out, <coughs> denying all scouting information to the Zerg player as of now. Destiny, uh, meanwhile, is going for the double expand, really trying to macro his way out of this situation. But, you know, the army tab says it all. 95 under 138, 57 harvesters under 70. It's still a very dicey situation. However, I do like how Destiny is producing almost entirely drones right now. He's trying to catch up in economy. Uh, it's almost like, it's like cheese in, in a different variety. You know, you've got different types of cheese, but this is like an eco cheese. You're behind, you just try to mass drone up and, and hope your opponent doesn't attack. So it's kind of like a, a different format of cheese, but what Destiny's trying to do right here, he's trying to kind of buy himself back into the game and praying that the Protoss doesn't make a move out. And at the same time, I'm so surprised. Look at this. Destiny already has an Ultralisk Cavern out. By God, he's already got a Hive. How did he manage to afford a Hive when he was so far behind is beyond me. But he's got three Ultralisks coming out right here. Oh my God. That is so amazing to me. At 22 minutes into this game, considering, of course, the first... I don't know, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, where it's just all out pure aggression, one base Protoss play from Honor. I am so surprised that Destiny, after losing this hatchery and, and, you know, trying to climb back in the last 10 minutes, he's been able to tech up to Hive and he's got three Ultralis on the way. That is just insane. But regardless, he has Ultras on the way. Uh, he doesn't quite have the Adrenal Glands yet, and believe me guys, uh, Cracklings, that's what they're called when they get the Adrenal Glands upgrade, Cracklings are so good, they do so much more damage, they get so much more speedy, um, it's like, it's like, uh, a Chihuahua on steroids, literally, except this is a Chihuahua that'll bite your, it'll bite the skin off of you, it'll, it'll, it'll tear you up, so, uh, Adrenal Glands is gonna be such an important upgrade for, for, uh, Destiny to get here, since he's going for this Ling Ultra Infester build, it doesn't look like at this moment in time, doesn't look like he's going for it, but he does have uh, a number of ultras out right now. His army still doesn't really look that strong. I mean, look at Honor's army. Oh my God. Oh, I mean, it's gonna have to, it's gonna come down to these investors, guys. Destiny, he's behind by so much, but if he can land some money fungal gross and maybe a couple Nero parasites, I don't know. Maybe those ultras will be able to get in and do their work, but. Ugh, this is gonna be so hard, and I've said this time and time again as well. Zealots are pretty damn good against Ultralisks. Uh, for obvious reasons, Ultras don't do that much extra damage against them. Zealots are able to surround the Ultra for fairly easily. So this is gonna be a tough, tough battle for Destiny. It does look like Honor now feeling comfortable. He's maxed out his army, and this is when Protoss wanna, ma wanna move out. When their army is maxed, that is it. that is when it's time. That's when the fat lady sings for the Protoss player. Um, and it's time to move. So here comes Honor. He's got such a scary ball of units. His zealots have charge, almost have charge at least. He almost has Storm as well. He may end up waiting. Oh my god, Honor here not paying attention to his Colossus. What is he doing? He ends up losing all of his Colossus to those Ultras and Destiny almost gets an ambush for free and he doesn't have to continue engaging. Destiny could just fall back and oh my god, what a gift wrap present for Christmas. Destiny runs in there. The Colossus couldn't have been in a better position and even if Destiny was controlling the Colossus himself. Uh, and Honor basically giving him all those Colossus for free. I don't know what he was thinking. He didn't even bother pulling back. And maybe he just wasn't paying attention to his army. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I didn't see him cast any force fields. I didn't see him cast any spells. And I almost feel like that was a huge mistake. And if anything, Honor now has given Destiny a chance back in this game. It's still, I, I still feel like Destiny's behind. If you just look at the army tab, he's still behind, despite the fact that he cleaned the house of all those colossi. Uh, he is still behind. That's just showing you how far behind he really was in the beginning. But the game is a little bit closer now. If anything, it's a lot closer now. And I, I just don't know what Honor was thinking. That was probably, that has gotta go in my book of fails <laughs> for StarCraft 2. By the way, guys, I think I mentioned this earlier, but if you guys have any awesome replays that include fails, include cheese fails, include BM, whatever, send them in to me as well as pro, pro, game, pro game. Send them into hdreplays at gmail.com um, and I'll try to make an awesome compilation for you guys. But uh, yeah, try to broaden out my horizons a little bit, I guess you could say. I'm gonna cast many different avenues of StarCraft 2. Um, 
But yeah, honor, man, that was such a fail. I, there's no other way to say it, but he, he still has his army maxed out. <coughs> so he still has a very formidable force, but 